Hi, this is Bird from Bird's SVGs, and in this video I'll show you how I put together the rocking horse card and the coordinating envelope from the Bundle of Joy SVG collection. So first of all, I'm going to add the insert into my card, and this means that I can use um, a nice uh, bright colour and pattern paper for my card. Um, because this gives me an area then to write the message to my recipient and it'll also add a bit of strength to your card as well. When this card is completed it's actually a rocking card um, so it will actually rock. Okay these are the pieces that you have um, to form the rocking horse for the front of your card. Uh, they go they go together um, quite easily it's quite self-explanatory where they go together and if you pick a couple of points to line up the rest of it lines up quite easily there's um i think you call it a stirrup at the bottom there if you line that up and the bump on the back where the saddle goes i found that that made it quite easy to actually pop them into place and obviously using wet glue you've got a little bit of wiggle room to slide them into place so you've got the main body of the horse that you put on top of the uh, piece with the rocking base and then the next piece is this brown piece, which is your saddle. And then again, you use the stirrup and the and that bump on the on the back of you know the horse's back to line it up. And then you'll find that those pieces around the face, around the head of the horse, actually line up exactly where they should be. Because these are quite fine um, pieces, I use. This is actually, I think they call it an orange stick. Um, just a little wooden stick. You could use a cocktail stick or um, even your piercing tool. Um, you know, some people call it a pokey tool. Um, anything like that to just take out those little bits of glue. Um, most of our PVAs do actually dry clear, so it's not an issue. But if the shine on them can, you know, bothers you like it does me, then um, here I'm just using, just using a little wooden stick to just take out any excess glue okay so we've got a little baby plaque now that goes onto the base of our rocking horse and this is made up of three pieces so you want the front piece and the back piece to be the same color and then the middle piece actually forms the lettering now you don't need to glue these pieces together but I'm choosing to so I know um, they you know that they've all lined up well but there are actually holes there for small brads. You can glue it into place and you can always cover up those holes with some um, small gems or pearls even or some enamel dots, something like that to cover the holes over. But if you'd like to, as I have, um, you can pop some brads into place and then, you know, it's all lined up correctly. Now at this stage I've decided to glue my rocking horse down to the front of my card but if you wanted some more dimension you could pop some 3d adhesive behind this to pop it out from your card a little bit so as soon as i pop this into place that's the card done and then we'll move on to the envelope and of course um, in another video i'll show you um, how to put together the uh, matching gift tag. Okay, once I'm happy that's in place, I'll just show you how how it does actually rock. So that's quite fun. So in the collection, you've got a card that rocks. You've got a card, you've got a shaker card, and you've got an easel card. Okay, here's the matching envelope. It comes in two pieces because it's actually quite a large card. So you want to fold in all the four sides. And then what I do is I glue the bottom edge to the back piece of my envelope. And then I use that like a, kind of like a hinge then but you could if you feel brave put put glue on all three sides and glue it on in in one in one go now obviously there's a cutout detail in the front of this envelope um a rocking horse um 
detail to match the to match the card but if you're sending your card through the post and you're worried that that might catch in the machines that they use at the post office I've included plain envelopes within the download so if you look at the plain envelope folder and then just pick the rocking horse um, envelope rocking horse card so it's up to you which one you, you prefer to use so I'm just adding my liner here I'm making sure that it's central and then the only place I need to add some glue is just along that top edge and that's it that's all you need for it to help to um, hold in place And I'll just pop my card in and show you that there's plenty of room. And there you have it. A rocking horse card with a matching envelope. And in another video I'll show you how to put the coordinating rocking horse tag together.